And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Production Line. Getting our cars going through. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Well, we need to start, we need to start manufacturing on a whole new level. So, I think we are going to first, where are we going to do this at? Um, this is not the most optimal production. Uh, I would love to set up my own my own map to try to get this going, but we're going to have to try to work with the constraints that we've got. And my rolling, metal rolling, should be, it's researched. Okay. So, oh no, we're just, we're just about there. A couple more, a couple more seconds. There it is. Okay, metal rolling is done. Uh, now it's just bumper and arches, and then we can get rid of our researchers. Uh, so this whole bank of people here, and then we can use this huge area for our own our own things uh, because we're gonna we're gonna eventually add another line to this to this row here and we've got a little export right there so we'll be able to do that uh, but let's first because we have windows right here and door panels roof uh, and this has got the panoramic this is the really expensive panoramic sunroof right here but it's cool, you can actually see the sunroof, which is awesome. So this one's got the panoramic sunroof. I meant to do the panoramic sunroof over here, but I don't think I I don't think I added it. I just had the normal sunroof right here, and I was gonna do the panoramic on this one, but I, f I forgot to add it in there. So I'm gonna leave that one alone. We're gonna have the panoramic on here. So, windows is one thing I think we're going to be able to save on. So let's look at our prices on windows. Uh, I think they're probably in the W's. So windows, $110 per window. And I think we use four. Yeah, no, five. We use five windows per car. That's like 500 and something dollars for each car that is that is pricey 110 so that's 550 dollars per car that we're spending on windows alone uh and what does glass cost 35 dollars so i'm guessing we're probably going to need two glass so let's expand into this one and set up some some stuff we're gonna set up some stuff so this is oh look at that 59 seconds for the make windows okay and let's set up where are we at in relation to everything here so so this is one minute exactly and we only need one glass oh that is beautiful so this thing fits in two minutes. So I'm going to guess we're going to need two of these. Uh, and our input is the green side. I do believe our input is the green. Uh, so we're going to, let's see, how do I want to do this? There's really no easy way that's going to, this is going to happen. Um, yeah, I don't like that at all. Uh, that, where the greens are right next to one another. I think that might work. And our resource importer is going to be over here. Okay, so, and then we're going to have a stockpile set up right in here. And this is going to be add item. We're going to have windows. Whoa! Whoa! arches almost done we're so almost done okay zoom all the way down okay windows and we're gonna have I'm gonna have 12 of these here 
I think if I look at another manufacturer, yeah, green is the output, blue is the input. So over here, okay, so if blue is the output, uh, that kind of messes me up. No, green is the output. So this is this is where stuff is going to come out of. Uh, so I want my resource conveyors. We're going to connect up out here with the resource conveyors. This is going to be the input. And we're going to come around and we're going to come right in through here. And there's the glass coming in. So now we're going to connect these two up with the stockpile, which I want to rotate like so. And let's set up the window again. And let's just let's just add it all. Okay, and resource conveyor. We're gonna put that right in like that. And they're not they're they're taking their sweet time. But I'll be able to now hook this one up with this. Oh, I just right click to try to get rid of it. Okay. So this, we're going to configure imports on window only local windows, please. So no more, no more outside windows. And as you can see, it emptied this one out, and now it's emptying this one out because it's pulling windows constantly, which is good. And the servo motors, the only thing the servos are coming in from outside. And let's check what the servo prices are really quick. Servos. See, those are $88 for those servos. Those are not cheap, and we can't make those. So, yeah, we've got full windows now. So it's pulling from the stockpile, as you can see. Uh, as soon as windows are placed, it's pulling four out of here, and then it pulls four out of here. Now, this might be it might be enough just to have one of these, I think, because we're not. I mean, the cars cars are coming through pretty pretty fast, and we are on servos pretty much constantly. Uh, and there's no, there's no way to change the ratio of servos to, to servos to windows. Because if I had a choice, I would only have five windows in here, and the rest would be servos. Because it takes me a couple minutes to get the servos out that I want. Okay, the research is done, and I think. The research is completely done. So we are going to Sorry everybody, you are all fired. That should save me quite a lot of money uh in my expenses uh for wages science. So wages science uh twenty four hours, hundred and twenty four thousand that'll save me every 24 hours so that's not bad yeah I think we don't need two of these so I'm gonna I'm gonna axe one of these not a problem all right the next thing that we can do uh, let's look at door panels and this is just uh, sort of an initial push for all of this I don't know how much I'm gonna need so this is just to kind of get used to this process I've never done this before. So this make door panel, this is a three minute, 33 second process. Uh, and let's look at the, so the green, that is where we're gonna wanna connect up to. Um, so if we do this, I'm gonna put one, oh, how do I wanna do this? I don't want to do it there. I want to do it right here. 
No, it doesn't really work for me either. That'll work. Okay, get rid of that one. So these actually take 3 minutes and 33 seconds to build. And the door panels, we are able to fit four of them 3 minutes and 44 seconds. So maybe this will be enough. Maybe. And now that I look at this, I think it would be even better to do like this. Now we've got steel sheets coming in. Now we're going to want to actually make our own steel sheets. So let's look at down here. Make steel sheets. What is this? 2 minutes, 13 seconds. Um, this is a very large production right here. This is a huge production. So... Wow, look at those cool machines in there. Stampers. That's awesome. Uh, resource conveyor. We're going to want one there. And we're going to want to connect that up like that. Okay, so this takes 2 minutes and 13 seconds to make one steel sheet. That is substantial amount. These take two a piece. That is a lot of steel sheets. I bet you this thing actually takes a lot of power, too. Yeah, 146 power demand for this little beast. Uh, and now we're going to want to connect door panels. I'm going to take door panels off. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Not configure. Choose... Uh, this had central locking, car alarm, and keyless entry on it. Uh, anything else? I didn't have the lane departure on this one, so it shouldn't change too much. So now we're going to want another stockpile for door panels. And we're going to add item, door panel, and just max it out. And where is our resource conveyor? Right there. So here, here, and here. Now it should be pulling all the door panels from here, and they're really actually pretty slow. Uh, I might want to post about that on the forums, because that, that to me is very, very unoptimized. That should be pulling those really fast. So now with that, I want to choose, oops, configure imports only local. Okay, so how is our steel plater doing? Okay, that's doing pretty good. Doors are going in. And we should be pulling from all of these now. We got one left here. Why is this... Why is this slowed down? This should not have slowed down. Ooh, look at that. We got three coming in. Some of them are coming down over here. I just want to see if our balance is okay. Uh, we're definitely going to need another one of those steel sheet plants. So right in here. And resource conveyor. Like so. Now our power is not our power is doing too not too bad. Okay, door panels looks like they're full. Looks like that's full. I just want to see what the ratio is here. What's a good number of these door panels? that we're gonna want in the system. Because if I don't need all of these, that will help in the long run, especially with our steel sheets. 
is we're able to make our own. And if we look at prices, so steel versus steel sheet, we're looking at another $19. Look at, see, since we started importing steel sheets, the price has gone up. So it's a very much, very much a reactionary model. It reacts pretty fast, too. So that is something that we're going to have to keep a close eye on we have a ton of cars hopefully we go through a selling phase here so down in this section I'm gonna to want to build the tires the wheels the brakes the steering wheels the lights uh, the seats and I'm not sure if we can do windscreens I think we have to I think we have to import those Regardless, yeah, see, air conditioners and windscreens we can't make yet. Uh, we can't make actually at all. We can actually make the horn, though. Look at that. Although, what what does the horn cost us? I mean, I don't, I don't think the horn is that... Man, it's 72 bucks for the horn. It's not not bad. It's always It's always better, I think, to make... Make the things that you use more than one of per car. That is important. Um, or the really expensive things. So, like, we only use one fuel tank on a car. But they're so expensive that it's, it's always better to make them. Uh, but we use, let's say... Uh, let's see. What's a good idea? I mean, the door the door panels is a great one. We use five of these per car. So having this production is very beneficial. How are our platers doing? We've got two plates. Okay, there's a bunch that came off there. We're probably going to be bringing more plates here. Yeah, there's a plate that came in. Trying to mitigate, trying to mitigate that expense as much as possible. I don't know. I mean, a third would do it. A third would, would keep us in business. Not a problem. But yeah, we've got plenty of door or plenty of windows and plenty of door panels now, and now we're making, making our own. And look at that, our cars dropped and our our money went way up. So that's good. Uh, and so door panels, yeah, these are actually falling in value now because we're making a ton of them on our own and we're not having to buy so many so those that has gone down windows probably yeah windows have gone down quite a bit uh and let's see wheels wheels is a big one now uh and i think i think those are just going to use raw steel so we'll be able to kind of mirror our wheel and tire and brake situation and it looks like three of these is enough to keep up with each of these assemblies so if i have another line coming through here and we're gonna we are gonna have another line that's gonna be two lines on this so i'm gonna want six of these manufacturers for each one of these so we're gonna expand into this beast of a line here uh, and you know use this area for our manufacturing so I'm thinking uh, if we go to body no no not body engine engine was probably it okay so if we want to I mean, lights, horn, seats, all of this stuff we're going to want in here. But what do I want? There's an exhaust. I've got the make exhaust right in here. So I don't really need another one of those. And we're making the exhaust just, just barely fast enough to keep up. And it's it's right now it's the wheels that are the the big limiting factor. So let's see. Fit wheels. Make wheels. One minute seven seconds. Look at the power. Two seventy seven. Wow. 
Uh, okay, so this is going to be tricky as well. Uh, I'd like, I would like to keep separated the input from the output, but I don't think we're going to, we're going to be able to do it very well. So there's the green and the blue. How do I want to do this? I would love if these were actually designed. I think we're just, I don't think we're going to be able to keep these separate. So we're just going to, I want six of these. Oh, well, there we go. And then we're going to want a stockpile. And we're going to slap this baby right in here. And this is going to be wheels. Okay. Because we're using five wheels per car uh, because of the spare wheel. So, yeah, I'm, I actually posted on the forums about this. Uh, I think that wheels and tires should be combined uh, in a separate system because, you know, they're, t they're pressurized. Uh, and the brake should always come before the wheels. So my, my post basically said... A separate station to combine wheels and tires and then in the assembly process it should be brakes then fit the wheels because you have rims and you have tires and then we can get rid of this a third line in here because so then you only need two because uh, you're making the combined wheel rim and tire off-site uh, all right so that will do it for this episode uh, next time we will complete this process. Uh, but anyway, that'll do it. So I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.